pay attention to this. The angels are going to ask you the questions, the three questions. مَن رَبُّكُ وَمَا دِينَكُ وَمَا النَّبِيُّ الَّذِي أُرْسِلَ فِي Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And, wh- and who is the Prophet that was sent to you? If you, you're already doing it every day in the morning and in the evening. رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ نَبِيًّا Do you think you're going to fail to say it when you are placed on your grave? Obviously not. You will be able to easily say it. When the angels can say, مَنْ رَبُّكُ وَمَا دِينًا وَمَنْ نَبِيُّ الَّذِي أُرْسَلْ He said, come, I was waiting for you. رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ نَبِيًّا I used to say it every day in the morning and in the evening. You will find yourself steadily saying it, not fearing anything. Why? Because Alhamdulillah, you're a salih person. And if you answered the question, if, this, if you answered this question correct in the grave, everything after that is easy. You pass fitna to qabr everything after this is easy. Becomes easy for you. Subhanallah. That's why the, the malaika will give you the bishara at the time when you are placed in your grave and you answer correct, will give you the bishara. And will show you a place in Jannah, a position in Jannah. You're going, you, you made it. Alhamdulillah. You're successful. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept from all of us. Allahumma ameen.